shopping is something that you probably do every day. And it's surprising how little we know about how we actually do it. Most people think that you need to have taken a touch typing course and learn how to use all your 10 fingers in order to type actually fast. But surprisingly we found that the number of fingers does not affect your typing speed. You could use just one or two fingers per hand and still type very fast. So for the first time we looked at how people move their fingers while they're typing, uh, in particular people who never took a typing course before. To do that we use what's called a motion capture system, which has 12 high-speed infrared cameras uh, that track the exact positions of 52 reflective markers that we put on the hands and fingers. Entering text is a very fast process, there's only a fraction of a second between the key presses. But the motion capture data allows us to see exactly which finger presses which key and how the hands and fingers move in between the key presses. The most surprising thing was really that on average people that never took a touch typing course could type as fast as those that learned to use all the 10 fingers. But it also turns out that people type very differently and develop all kinds of different strategies. But to find commonalities between how people typed, we looked at the so-called finger-to-key mapping, so what finger they used to press a certain key, and looked at commonalities between these mappings. We found four different kind of strategies for the left hand and six for the right hand, and they ranged from just using the index or middle finger of a hand up to a modified version of the touch typing system. But the interesting thing was really that for each of these groups, there were people typing very slowly or very fast, and all using the same strategy. In contrast to what you might expect, the number of fingers you use doesn't make you fast at typing. Instead, we found a range of other factors that can influence your performance. For example, uh, we found that fast typists more consistently use the same finger to press the same key every time. Uh, and also fast typists learn to keep their hands steady and don't move them over the, the keyboard as much as slower typists do. If properly used, touch typing can still have some benefits. For example, we found that touch typists looked at their fingers much less than untrained typists. Uh, which is very useful when you're doing complex editing tasks, for example. All this data will be openly available for other researchers to use. Studying such a basic activity such as text input is very important for the design of new user interfaces and it can also help in developing new training methods or better support users.